Your project is going to be typically made up of many tasks that need to be completed, obviously, in order to complete your project. There are three types of tasks. The first two tasks that we're going to cover in this training video are your summary task and your subtask. Your summary tasks are group headers or headings for your subtask. Your subtasks are very specific, detailed tasks. Let's take, for example, that you want your family to clean up your home. Now you could divide your home into summary tasks, for example, the kitchen, the living room, the basement, all of them on their own could be summary task. Let's take for example the summary task of cleaning the kitchen. In the summary task you'll have specific tasks that will, when they're completed, be able to say that the kitchen is complete. For example, cleaning the fridge, washing the dishes, wiping down the drain boards. And then once you're done with that summary task, then you can move on to the next one which is cleaning the living room. The subtask for that summary task could be vacuuming, dusting, and so on. Now let's get back to our project here which is to publish a software training manual. The first thing I'm going to enter in are all my summary tasks. After I have those entered in, then when I brainstorm of about each specific task, I'll go ahead and insert those underneath my summary task. So the first task, I'm going to come up here, click in the first cell in the first row and type in, and then hit enter. After I do that, it does a couple of things. First of all, it labels in the row header here that this is my first task, number one. Over to the right we have the duration column which says one day with a question mark meaning I'll go ahead and keep it one day but are you sure that you want it as one day to complete the task. Then we have our start and finish dates. Now remember in the earlier training video we said our project is going to start on August 1st. Well when you start a task it assumes that you're going to start on the date that you said you want to start the project on. Now notice here before we come over here into the Gantt chart we've got a little divider line. You can click and drag that divider line over to the right to reveal more columns in your table here or your entry table. The last column being the resource names. Now you can click and drag that and fit it right next to the uh, resource names column or better yet if you want to get it right next to it just hover over that divider bar and when you're close enough to the next column double click on it really fast and it'll snap right to it. So if I click and drag and get more than halfway in the predecessors here and I double click really fast it snaps right to the finished column. Now over in the Gantt chart for that task that we have here, we have a little bar that's representative of that task. And how long is the bar? Well, it's one day. You can see up here in the timeline, it's just Friday. Now I'm going to come back in here and finish entering in all my summary tasks. Now you notice when I finish entering my task, my first task and my last task are obvious. We start the uh, project or the manual and then the manual is complete. In between you can see I've got all these phases. That helps me to know that these are summary tasks. And then over here, everything begins on the same day. Again, project is a process. So right now all we're concerned about is entering in our task. Well, I entered in the summary task. Let's say that I made a mistake in one of these entries and say it's not supposed to be the test phase summary, it's supposed to be the edit phase. Now there's a couple ways you can edit the task. One way is to click on the task to select it, then to click on it again until the cursor actually starts flashing within the cell. Now you can learn how to edit these cells by watching my Excel training videos. In any case, moving along, all I have to do is click and drag and select the text that I don't want, delete it, and then type in the new text and hit enter. Another way is to select the task again, come up here in the entry bar, select the text that you don't want, delete it, and type in the new text and hit enter. And then finally, you can actually double click on the task really fast and it brings up the detailed information for the task, the least of which is the name. Go ahead and select part of the name, type over it, and then hit enter, and it updates the task. Now, I've entered in all my phases here in my summary task. As I start brainstorming and realizing the specific tasks that need to be completed in each phase or each summary task, I can then go ahead and insert a new task below those phases or those summary tasks. For example, I've got a summary task I want to include below the research phase. All I have to do is select the task below and hit the insert key on the keyboard and it will push that task down and create a new task right below my research phase. Then I can go ahead and type in the new subtask which is going to be Now notice if the text goes beyond the width of the column, what you can do, and again we cover this in my Excel training videos, is come up here to the top and move your pointer in between the two column headers until it becomes arrows pointing in opposite directions. Then you can go ahead and click and drag to stretch the column out, 
or double click really fast and it will do an auto fit or best fit. In other words, it will take the longest text within that column and fit the column to that text. Another way to do it, let me hit the undo arrow, is to double click really fast on the column header and in the dialog box you have the best fit button. Go ahead and click on that and it does the same thing. Now let's say I have a few more subtasks that I want to include underneath the research phase, like below the interview subject matter experts. Like I said, all you have to do is select the task that you want to insert above and then hit the insert key on the keyboard or select the task and right click on the row header here and go down and left click on new task, right click again and left click on new task. Now we have two new tasks above the outline phase here. Let me go ahead and type them in. Now let's see if this makes sense. I have my phases which are defined by me as my summary task and then below my summary task I have the subtask which aren't defined by phases. So looking at the research phase, let's look at the subtask. Interviewing the subject matter experts, that's research. Examining the software is research and then searching their corporate internal documentation is also research. Then when I hit the next phase I know that that's not a subtask, that's the summary task, the beginning of a different group of subtasks. Now once you get your subtask in, let's say that search internal documentation should be the first subtask in the research phase. There's a couple ways you can move this around. You can either go ahead and click on the row header here, number 5, and then right click on it and go down to cut the task. And then go ahead and select the row header task that you want to insert or paste the task that you cut just above it. And then right click on it and then go down to paste and it'll insert it right above it and push everything else down. Another way to do it is to, let's say for the examined software, go ahead and click on the row header number 5, and then as you hover over the row header 5, you'll see you got a four-way arrow. Well, that four-way arrow in Microsoft means that you can then click and move that, in this case, this task around. So if I click and I drag it up one, you see that, that fuzzy gray line? Wherever I let go of that fuzzy gray line is where my task is going to be dumped into or between the search, internal documentation, and above the interview subject matter experts. Let go, and there it goes. So in summary, the only thing I want you to know here is how to add in your task and edit them if you make a mistake. Be sure to enter in your summary task, and then below your summary task, insert and create those subtasks, or the specific detailed task that make up that, in this case, research phase. Once I've completed all three tasks, then you can say that your summary research is completed. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.